five things that I think stops will stop your growth, right? Number one, you don't have a plan. <clears throat> Number two, which I think is the most important, which stops your growth, consistency and discipline. I'm going to put those two together. I think that's all you need, though. Mm -hmm. you, oh, right. I really think that's all you need to be successful. It's consistency and discipline. That's it. Those two things. Number three, you have unrealistic goals, right? Number four, you procrastinate. And number five, yeah, you're just fucking lazy. That's facts. You want fucking is too lazy sometimes. Were, but oh, but but like going back to that. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This your boy Kurt Wolf from Fitness Lifestyle. Please do me a favor to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell to get future content. And while you're at that too, stuff, uh, smash that like button for me. Yo, I'm your host, Curtis Miller. Welcome to Fitness Lifestyle Channel. Welcome. Yo, in this video, you guys saw the intro. I want to talk about those uh, five uh, areas where, you know, I feel like it's stopping your growth. And I want to, I, I want to dive into it more in detail. And this is an extension from a, a previous video that I made, but I... Shout out to that subscriber who said, hey, could you go in more detail about, you know, those five uh, areas where you feel like you're stopping our growth so we can kind of get more of a uh, a description of what you're talking about in terms of, of that. So I want to dive into this content. Thank you and shout out to that subscriber. Um, we're more than happy to go into this content. But first, make sure you stop by and uh, look at and check out Wealth and Fitness Lifestyle dot com and sign up for our newsletter and also to check out the merchandise on my website uh, that's wealth and fitness lifestyle.com check out the merchandise the website for summer apparel workout gear and also to sign up for my e-newsletter that i'm going to be sending out every week uh just different topics of wealth and fitness Dive into the first topic uh first area where I, and I, I, I mentioned i talked about in that previous video of the five areas where i think it's stopping your growth so the first thing that I mentioned was that you don't have a plan. And what I, what I mean is that, you know, a lot of you guys out there who, you know, feel like they're stagnant, feel like you're not accomplishing your goals. And that constitutes because you don't have a plan. You know, you don't have a written out plan of wh where you want to be, what you want to do, what you're trying to accomplish, what goals you have, and what are your benchmarks that you're trying to get there. I, I've, um, I've been doing a, a couple of consultations now and what I'm realizing about uh, from, from guys who are really struggling with trying to figure out not only their purpose, but trying to figure out, you know, how do, how do I set goals and accomplish goals is that they have goals, but they just don't have a plan on how they're going to achieve that goal. And with work for me in the past, anytime I had a goal is I always write it down. I always write it down. I always have... Uh, you know, a detail, not only just what my goal is, but a plan of how I'm going to try to reach that goal. So for an example, um, I set out for a goal to lose weight and get on my um, fitness journey, right? And so far, I've, I've lost over 50 pounds on this weight loss journey, which if you guys go into my previous videos, you'll see the progression. And when I started this channel in June of 2020 until now, you'll see the progression I have in terms of workout videos and content that I produce. And I, I had that goal, but I had to have a detailed plan. And part of what encompasses that plan is uh, my meal prep, which I have a lot of content about, and also, too, my workout regimen and how I'm burning calories. It's all about calories in versus calories out, right? And But I had a plan. I had a plan on how I'm going to reach that goal. And I had benchmarks. I said, you know, in two months, in five months, in, in seven months, in nine months, where I wanted to be. And I was keeping track of those benchmarks of that was I reaching those particular goals based upon my diet and my exercise regimen. So you got to have a plan in anything you do. If you're starting a business out there, you have to have a plan. You got you got to have a plan of, you know, what, you, what product you're selling, you know, what your target market is, you know, what's the, uh, the cross benefit analysis of, of, the, of the product that you're producing out there. If, the, if there is a market for what you're trying to do, and, you know, the trajectory of, you know, when you feel, when you think that you're going to, you know, start returning a profit based upon the, the product and services that you're, you're offering. So 
So there's a lot that comes to, you know, uh, your growth as a man or as a young woman, but you have to have a plan first and foremost. You have to have a detailed plan. Number two, which I think is the most important part of this is consistency and discipline. You must be consistent and you must be disciplined. So what I mean by consistent is that you, like let's say, let's take it from the standpoint of weight loss, right? I wouldn't have lost the 50 pounds if I wasn't consistent on, you know, measuring my, uh, measuring my calories, eating right, and working out. And what I realized is that I was consistent over a long period of time that was able to produce that result. And anything that you do, ladies and gentlemen, you got to be consistent over time to, to get to the ultimate result and your goal that you're trying to achieve, right? And discipline is the, the second part of that is that being disciplined day in and day out that says, you know, I will do this no matter what to reach my goal. And I think that's the, this is the most important part out of the five you know, areas where I feel like, you know, stops your growth that you have to master. You have to master consistency and discipline. I'm doing a whole chapter in my book. Make sure that you look out for that coming soon about consistency and discipline. It's going to be fire. And I think it's going to uh, help a lot of you guys out there who's experiencing, you know, uh, some issues with consistency and discipline. Number three is that your goals may be unrealistic so you know me working for uh organizations and you know my nine to five in my career and, and working in that sector for over uh 17 years is that you know i follow when i've set goals i make sure that they follow the uh the smart goal uh theory which is they have to be specific measurable attainable realistic timely and yeah so that's that smart and when i every time i set a goal i want to make sure that it's realistic you know, is losing weight, is losing 100 pounds in one month realistic? No. Maybe if you're David Goggins, um, but, you know, if you're Curtis Millis, that's not realistic, right? But maybe saying, you know, over 12 months losing 100 pounds, that might be realistic based upon the plan that I set forth and being consistent and disciplined in the plan. So make sure that your goals are consistent. Make sure your goal you have a make sure you have a detailed plan. Make sure you're consistent and disciplined in, in that plan, and make sure that that goal is realistic. Can you achieve that goal by the benchmark and the date that you set for? And is it achievable? So make sure that you, you you're not setting out goals that are not realistic. Now I know that I have goals that I set up for a year. I have a five year goal and I have a ten year year goal. And my ten year goals are, are, are really really straightforward and more in detail, but my 10 year goal is where I want to be in 10 years, but that, that encompasses a, a whole complexity of different things that I set a plan for, right? And you're going to see the, in these five areas where these five areas, they all intertwine with each other and you all, you, you have to do all of them in order to be successful in obtaining your goals. Number four, you procrastinate and you know, you know, there's this theory out there that, you know, uh, they're, they're, that I follow, actually, my model is that there is no tomorrow. Like, there is no tomorrow. It's today. So anything that you're trying to accomplish every time you do that you've been putting to the side, make sure you stop whatever you're doing right now and you stop procrastinating and get that shit done. I did a video about how to get shit done and make sure you that you uh, check out that video but a lot of us procrastinate a lot of us wait for tomorrow then tomorrow becomes today and today becomes next week and next week becomes next month and next month become next year and vice versa and that's the problem that you guys a lot of facing that you're procrastinating and leaving shit to the next day that you never accomplish so stop procrastinating and get it done right now this very very moment stop what you're doing right now no finish watching this video now, after you finish watching this video the shit that you're supposed to get done and the things you're trying to do to accomplish your goals stop procrastinating and get it done tonight today tonight tomorrow whatever you're watching this video and number five is some of you guys are just flat out lazy if you want to be in the one percent of men women who made it to the top you you are the cream of the crop you have to put in the work like like a lot of you guys think that a lot of the one percent out here just had things handed to them there's there's a lot of self-made millionaires and they put in the work i put in the work day in and day out with zero excuses to get shit done and i'm not a lazy motherfucker and a lot of you guys are lazy a lot of you guys want to 
play the victim and be handed something that others have worked six times harder than you. Like, if you're not putting in 80 hours of work, your nine to five, your purpose, your career, the other things that you're doing, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. You know? If you're gonna sit there and after two weeks of being on your grind, say, yo, this is too hard, you're lazy. You're just flat out lazy because you're not willing to put in the work. A lot of us who put ourselves in a position to be high value men and be in the 1% put in the work because they we grind and we understand that this is what this is what it takes to be great. It costs to be the boss in these in these scenarios, in these positions. And you but you gotta be putting the putting the work. You gotta have a plan, you gotta be consistent and disciplined. You have to have realistic goals. You can't procrastinate and you can't be fucking lazy. So those are the five areas where I feel like that's stopping a lot of us from our potential growth. You know, I hope this information was helpful for you. Let's get fit. Let's gain wealth. Let's improve our lifestyle. Let's save money to invest money to make more money. Shout out to that subscriber who asked that question for me to go in more detail. I want, um, also, too, I think a lot of my one-on-one -on -one consultations that I've been having with people having great conversations and I might uh, share some of the nature of the conversation because I think it's going to be a good quality content for this channel. So save money to invest money to make more money. It's your boy Kurt. Check out wealthandfitnesslifestyle.com. Subscribe to the new newsletter. I'm out.